Howdy y'all, this is Regless Raven. Welcome back to another episode of Night in the Woods. Last time, May made it back to uh, Possum Springs and her family forgot her. They thought that um, she was supposed to be coming the next night. So, unfortunately, they missed her arriving at the bus stop, so now she is home. She had this entire adventure of walking home, so... Anyway, let's go ahead and let's get her out of bed. Come on, May. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Anything in here? Oh! Could play some bass. But which song? Nah, later. Space Dragon. Should we pra practice some before we get in? Let's do it. Wander in space. Nomad of Forbidden Place. literally do not know this song. Me neither, May. Me neither. <laughs> let's, let's go on. Okay. That was hard. <laughs> I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, a lot of us. We could have a traveling show. The cute Borowskis. Had to ask Dad to open that for us. 
how is this bird still alive? Who knows? Mm. It was pretty great when Granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wing Wigglesbury. The fancy corpse. Something that I have to address. I have a personal thing about saying curse words. If anyone has noticed this in any of my other playthroughs, it's there. <laughs> Heck, Mole Stevenson. <laughs> Necropus, book the first. Lady Shark. The Stoat on Gallows Hill. So yeah, I am going to do my best to always have a different word to put in there. Not because I need it to be a certain rating, but because of my own personal thing about swear words. So yeah, let's, let's keep going. Mom has all of her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy, sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out of he out here. Hmm. And we even ate the horses. <laughs> one family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, Mom. Hey look, some of Dad's books got in here. Finches of North America. World of Titmice. The Complete Grackle, a three-volume set. Owls are owlsome. Treacherous cranes. Hmm. The heck is a grackle? <laughs> Anything else besides... No? Okay. Going downstairs. Honey? Yeah? Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Let's go see what she needs. Mother, you look just like me. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? Yeah? Or what do you mean? What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just needed to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine. Really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet you your old friends will be happy to see you. You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah! Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in town center, west of the Click Click. I'll run over and say, hey, we have a snack falcon now? <clears throat> we have a snack falcon now? Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out. 
the food donkey is gone? Oh yeah, going on almost a year now. Wow, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to the hem panther out by the highway now. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone? We have a snack falcon? It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore, see what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be fall and possum springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Mom. Oh, it's so cute. What's been happening in town? Well, let's see. Did you hear Mrs. Krangler die? Who? You remember Mrs. Krangler? She taught you Girl Scout. She taught your Girl Scout. Blah, blah, blah. She taught your Girl Scout troop how to dance. Oh wow, she was pretty old then too. Oh, she was ancient. She was ancient when I was your age. How did she die? From being ancient, honey. How old was she? 115. Okay. Wow. I know if this were a contest, she'd have won. Okay. Bye, Mom. Oh, shoot. Should I talk to her more? You've got to read this book when I'm done with it. What is it? Well, boy, it's a true story about a boy who grew up in a well. His parents didn't want him, so they threw him in a well. And he was raised by eels. In a well. Wow. Eels. Eels. Of course. We added that to the book. Okay. Now we have to talk to her more, see if we can get more in the journal. Eels, honey. Eels. Okay. I guess that's all she's gonna talk to us about then. Dang it. Part one. Home again. I might play with mom's voice a little bit because it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Eels. Well, it sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter. Makes like half the town inaccessible. Unless you want to walk the long way around for like 20 minutes. Which, I mean, no. More? Okay. <gasps> I can jump on mailboxes. Thank you, Squirrel. You have shown me the way. Whee! This is so fun. <laughs> Please don't do this at home. Can I jump down? How do I... How Oh, hey. I jumped down. Hello. Hey, Mr. Twigmire. May? Is that you? Sure is. You home for a visit? 
No, I'm home for good. What? Do I not have college anymore? Not for me, at least. I always thought you'd either go on to do great things, or sit on your butt here until it put down roots. Butt roots? I guess I can settle that one in my mind. out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just don't go back? That's about it. Here. So, how have you been? Okay. Me and Dennis split. Oh, no. Yeah. He had a job at the new prison over in Brittle. And he met some girl at a gas station. Wow, what a jerk. Eh, he's a free agent. I guess. What's that word they use? For like, a weapon you make in jail? Like, a knife? A shiv? I hope Dennis gets shivved at work. Just to scare him. Scare him good. Gotta do it. Scare. <clears throat> Scare him right in the kidney. Okay, well, I gotta go. Nice seeing you. Stop by anytime. That's cute. Scare him right in the kidney. <laughs> That's not morose. Hello. What you doing on my porch? Nothing? Speaking to this guy? Uh, hey, Mr. Tazakov. Hello, mate. My best worst student. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for your future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Oh. Well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Sure thing. <laughs> okay. family had a house and on a tiny depressing apartment. Hey, it's the Harleys. What are you doing? Little Joe, you're under arrest. Oh wow, kids still talk about little Joe? We used your DNA. Do you kids know what DNA is? Ghosts don't have DNA. I like this one. Ghosts don't have DNA. Yeah, ghosts don't have DNA. Hey, lady, can you leave us alone? 
Yeah, leave us alone, lady. Lady? Danny, right? Yep. I think you were a senior when I was a freshman? Probably. How's it going? Just lost my job. Oh no. They say construction's always hiring. But it's not. In fact, it's often laying off guys named Dan. What are you going to do? I'm open to suggestions. Don't give up. I'm sure someone in town is hiring. I've been out of work for a year before. And this time I only lasted six months before laying, being laid off. Do you know what that does to a resume? Not really. I have a zombie resume. It's dead, but somehow it's still going all over the place. Oh. You speak more. I don't have a job either. Oh man. Sorry to talk to your ear off about it. How are you holding up? Good. I just dropped out of college, and I'm living with my parents. Oh. So, you're basically a teenager again. No. I'm just an adult, living with her parents. Oh, uh, okay. So you're not like... So it's not like you're unemployed. It's like you're lacking a daytime hobby. That pays money you don't need for rent. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Yeah. to get onto his roof. years ago. Dad said he was a crook who hated the unions. But we did get a library. That got turned into apartments. Is there more? Hmm. 
I don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum. A father to all workers. A grandfather to their children. A great-grandfather to those children's children. It keeps going like that for a while. Erected 1910. Bea has this dude right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold, Arnold Stalker Bomb. <laughs> okay. here for this episode uh, there's just so much to explore in this game i want to keep going and exploring hello everything that's going on in here uh, we need to go in the tunnels we need to check out what's this see we need to check out all this stuff like the harfest is coming up soon in town center there he is A patronizing ball of yarn. Oh man, it bounces. Okay. That we're gonna play with. Yeah, so there is um, Katie Washington never lost a child. All kinds of things that we could poke around with and see what's going on. Casey Hartley is missing. has gone on longer than I intended. Um, there is just so much to do. So much going on all at once. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of what's going on, what we've seen so far. Talking to everyone, all the people, um, all the dark humor going on. Um, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.